Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't filmed a video in ages. I've just been like really busy with work, family things, um, seeing family that I haven't seen in a while. Just busy stuff really and I just haven't really been feeling like filming a video so I never want to force my videos which is why if I'm not really in the mood to film a video I won't film one which is probably why you guys haven't seen one in a while. Uh, so today's video I thought I'd do something a little different. I haven't really seen this on YouTube yet. So I thought I would do a kind of 2007 in review, um, taking a look back on my year, what I've done each month and kind of showing you guys because some of you may watch my videos, some of you may read my blog posts, um, some of you may read one but not watch the other and yeah just some of the things I may not have shared with you guys. So in January I went to The Lion King. Um, it was a Christmas present for my best, one of my best friends and we also went to eat Vietnamese food so that was really really fun and we both loved it. I also talked about my eating problem on my blog which is something I wanted to talk about for a while. I didn't know how I was going to talk about it just because it's a bit of a weird one um, but I, I, I got really great feedback from it so I'm so glad that I um, obviously spoke about it and helped some of you guys out as well. In February nothing much happened, um, it was basically just like a normal kind of like month, I had work, I uploaded a few videos, I did a few blog posts and I just basically just lived my life. <music> Moving on to March, March was a pretty um, busy month. I had my driving test um, preparations so that basically took up the whole of March. I had like minimum like four hours a week lessons maybe even more really getting ready for my test um, it was my third test so I really wanted to pass it the driving test it was pretty scary because obviously it was my third test and I was this close to uh, failing it so luckily I passed my driving test which is amazing because I was really low on money as well and obviously driving and learning to drive is very expensive I also went to this restaurant called Restaurant Owls which is in Knightsbridge. Um, it was for my friend's birthday. It's an amazing restaurant. If you guys have a chance to go there, go there. The picture opportunities are amazing. In May, it was my birthday and I turned 21. I mean, I'm basically like a real adult now. It's crazy. Um, for my birthday, I went on holiday. We were in Barcelona on the day that I actually turned 21. And then we went to Spain, France and Italy. So I'll leave all the videos around here. I also hosted a work event, which was kind of like an opening of our new shop. And that was really successful. I got the mayor to come down, which is pretty cool. June I took a big step in my work life. I ended my apprenticeship uh, which was a year of hard work. I got the highest grade that I could get which is pretty cool. Um, I did work really hard for it as well so I was really pleased I got the grade that I deserved. In July following my the end of my apprenticeship I obviously started a new job role in my same workplace but I was now marketing manager instead of marketing apprentice. With that new job obviously I got a bit of a salary raise so I managed to get myself a car um, I didn't pay it off all in one go I am um, basically hiring the car on finance so every month I pay a bit off for that car and then after three years the car is mine. In July I also went to my first PR event um, at a Mahiki nightclub, it was for Maui Moisture which is a hair care range and it was so much fun, I met so many amazing people there who were also bloggers, YouTubers, I made some friends who I know I'll be friends with for life, they're just amazing people and yeah I had a really really great night, um, I also wrote a blog post on that. August, I went to Dorset which is in the south of England it is so beautiful down there it's so peaceful and tranquil and it was just a really nice break from London then went back to London and went to somewhere in the city I've never been somewhere in the city before it was at uh, the London XL it was really nice I went by myself and I made a friend there but I don't think I would go again just because it was so crowded and noisy and it really 
wasn't very good for me and my anxiety because I'm not very good in crowds especially in like enclosed spaces and it was very crowded and very noisy so yeah I'm not sure if I would go to that again in August I also tackled the Beast which is a massive bouncy castle that was on at Alexander Palace it was so much fun me and a few friends went and then after that we went out for some food September I went to my first comedy club uh, which was really fun my auntie and my uncle bought me a voucher for my birthday and me and my best friend we went to this comedy club in Covent Garden we had some pizza there and we watched these three comedians which were all really really funny and it was a great night I mean I've never been to a comedy club before I definitely go to one again and it's definitely something you guys should try if you've never done it I also went over to my friend's house Everyone says we look alike, we're Asian, we have long black hair, we wear glasses. We're basically like twins. Um, I went to her house for dinner so I had a real Chinese feast and it was delicious because obviously my family aren't Chinese, they're English so I never really have real Chinese food. So this was a great taste of kind of what they eat every day. Um, yeah, it was really really fun. But October was an amazing month because my blog uh, turned four. I have been writing on my blog for four years, which is pretty crazy. And yeah, the rest of October was pretty normal. Um, I just had work and things like that, really. November. In November, I went to the Alexander Palace fireworks. That was a great night and the vlog is amazing. I'm so glad that I vlogged it. And yeah, that was really good. The food was amazing, the fireworks were amazing, and it was just a really, really fun night. I also went to a Christmas fair at Olympia. Again, that was really good, but the only thing was it was super crowded, super noisy. I started to get a bit panicky, um, so I didn't stay there very long. But it was really magical, and I really liked it as well. We also went to a concert um, towards the end of November. It was a Dan and Shay concert, who I love. <laughs> Um, they were amazing because it was at Coco's nightclub in Covent Garden, so not Covent Garden, in Camden, so it meant that it was really quite intimate and there was quite a few people there, a lot of country fans who were a lot older than me and my friend that went, so it was quite interesting to see that it wasn't just young girls that liked them as well. They were amazing, I would love to see them again next year maybe if they come to the UK. December. Um, so we're not that far into December. So far I've been to Winter Wonderland once. That was really fun. I went with my colleague and her son. So obviously I didn't film it for privacy reasons. I am going again next weekend with my friends. So you will get to see what Winter Wonderland is like this year. I'm definitely going to vlog it. Because obviously so many of you guys have been asking about it. And yeah, so far in December, I haven't really done that much. I've kind of just been preparing for Christmas. I've got most of my Christmas presents, so I'm very happy about that. And then Christmas is going to be fun. Christmas I'm spending with my mum this year. So I'm with my cousins and my nan, and we're down in um, Essex. So I'm going to be vlogging parts of that, not all of it. So you'll get to see what I'm doing over Christmas. I thought I'd do something different for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to try it out, then I would, because I'd love to see what you guys have done in 2017 as well. And yeah, please give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye!